One of Utak's most helpful features is the ability to generate detailed sales reports with just a click of a button. In this guide, I'll show you how to do that from the back office. Note that this is best opened when you're on a laptop. Click on the menu tab, then select Transactions. You will see a list of all the sales punched from the POS tablet. Remember that if the tablet is offline, your back office will not update with the latest sales. In this section, you will see five different submenus. We'll focus on the detail submenu first. This tab generates the most detailed report in the system. From right to left, we have the total sales per transaction. Note that a service charge is not accounted as sales and is calculated separately. The following columns also shows the item sold per transaction, the cashier who punched the sale, date and time the sales were punched, and the mode of payment. Now using the refund button here, you may also refund in the back office. This is tackled in another video. Notice there is a time range on the upper left corner of the screen. You may change this date filter to show your sales on those dates, as well as the time frame for exporting data. Keep in mind that the date filters will generate 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. sales only. Now let's look at the extracted data. I'd like to see sales on two dates. I'll change it here, click Go, then click on Download button on the right-hand part to generate a CSV file. On our extracted file, all of your transactions are here. From left to right, you'll see the date and time of transaction. Column C is the auto-generated transaction ID. Note that all of these are random, but some are repetitive due to it being just one transaction with multiple items sold. Same is true with column D, showing us the receipt number. Column E shows the total net sales for one transaction, which means discounts and or refunds are already deducted. Column F shows the cost per unit if you have the cost column inputted in the system. Column G shows us the payment type for the transaction. Columns H, I, and J shows us what category, item, and option was transacted. And next to it, column K shows how many units of item were sold. Column L generates the price per unit according to what's inputted in the system. Column M Discounted price is a value equivalent to price per unit deducted by discounts. Column N, on the other hand, is useful for possible bookkeeping, where inclusive VAT is automatically computed for you per unit. Let's jump to column P, refunded column. This will show the word true if an item has been refunded. The next column beside it should show the reason why the item has been refunded given that the cashier provided a reason in the tablet POS. Column R are notes typed in per item by cashier. This may be populated as order modifications such as no onions. Or this could be reasons for discounting an item. Let's look at the column next to it where it shows item discount by percentage. When there is a value here, the reason should be in the latter column. Column U and V shows discounts given to the total amount. Column W, VAT exempt, is populated if the item is given a discount using the senior or PWD buttons. Column X and Y are populated when service charge is turned on. Column Z shows who was the cashier logged in when punching. Column AA shows the notes inputted per transaction. Those were the ones from service notes, which may be populated by reference numbers for non-cash payments or reasons for total bill discounts. Column AB until AD will be populated accordingly by data inputted by clients who ordered from Utak Online, while AE and AF columns are when parked order is enabled where the table numbers and whether it's a dining or takeout will show. That was Hefty and that's it for our detail submenu. Again, this is the most comprehensive data to extract. We can check transaction sub tab where there's an additional column of customer 
which may be populated by any email entered in the post-order tray. Or this may also come from online order clients. Hourly, daily, and monthly are, as what it suggests, your data in different metrics, showing extra columns of service charge if enabled, discounts, expenses, profit, and total accepted amount in different payment methods. Additionally, here in our daily subtab, there is a print button beside the date where it would show your Z reading from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. This may be downloaded as PDF and be printed on a bond paper. That's all for our transactions tab. Should you have any questions or clarifications, reach us through our existing group chat. Happy selling!